Hello everyone. Welcome to Nesso Academy. In the previous lecture we understood logical operators in C++. Now we are in this lecture and the name of this lecture is Bitwise Operators Part 1. In this lecture we will understand some of the bitwise operators we have in C++. So without any further delay, let's get started with this lecture and let's see what are the topics. The first topic of this lecture is bitwise and operator and the second topic is bitwise or operator these are the two operators we will study in this lecture let's start with the first operator which is the bitwise and operator so what is the bitwise and operator bitwise and operator is the operator that allows us to compare each bit of the two operands it is represented by the single ampersand symbol and we can use it to compare the bits of the operands it cannot be used directly to compare the operands it can be used to compare the bits of the operands that is why it is called a bitwise operator it returns 1 if both the bits are 1 otherwise it returns 0 so it is quite similar to logical and operator but we know logical and operator is applied on the operands and it works on the operands themselves but a bitwise operator works on the bits of the operands here we can observe that bitwise and operator returns 1 when both the bits are 1 otherwise it gives us 0 this can be understood from the truth table of the bitwise and operator as well this is the truth table i am assuming that a and b are single bit operands and bitwise and operator is applied on these two operands now let's say that a is 0 and b is 0 then bitwise and of a and b will give us 0 this is because when both the bits are 1 then only we will get 1 as the result here we have both the bits set to 0 that's why we are getting 0 similarly when a is 0 and b is 1 we will get 0 when a is 1 b is 0 we will get 0 but when a is 1 and b is 1 then we will get result of bitwise and as 1 so from this truth table we can conclude that when both the bits are 1 we will get the result of bitwise and as 1 otherwise we will get 0 now what is the use case of the bitwise and operator we can use bitwise and operator to extract specific bits from a number if we want to extract specific bits from a number we can use the bitwise and operator this can be understood from this simple example let us assume we have this binary number 1001 which is same as 9 in decimal Now let's say we want to extract the first two bits of this binary number. For this purpose we can set the corresponding bits in the second operand to 1. So we will get the second operand as 1100 which is same as 12 in decimal. Now we can perform bitwise and of these two binary numbers we will obtain 1000 as the result. This means we have successfully extracted the first two bits from this binary number. And this binary number is same as value 8 in decimal. So clearly from this we can observe that bitwise and of 9 and 12 is 8. But why this happens? Why are we getting this result? This can be understood from this truth table. please observe this truth table when in the second operand we have a specific bit set to 1 then we can observe that we would be able to obtain the corresponding bit from the first operand as it is this is what we can observe from the truth table but when we set a specific bit in the second operand as 0 then we will get 0 as the result so that's why we have set these two bits to 1 because we want to extract these two bits 
and we do not want these bits that's why we have set 00, zero. so this is the reason why we are getting the result as 1000 zero, zero, zero. and we would be able to extract the bits as well which we wanted so in this way we can use the bitwise and operator i hope this idea is clear to you now let's implement this example through a c++ program here i have included the io stream header file and in this main function i have defined these variables a and b and i have initialized them with values 9 and 12 respectively these are integer variables after this i have performed the bitwise and operation on a and b we know bitwise and of 9 and 12 is 8 so clearly with the help of stdc out we will get the result as 8 this is the output we are getting from this program i hope this is completely clear to you so with this we have understood the bitwise and operator this means we are done with the first topic now let's move to the second topic to understand bitwise or operator so what is the bitwise or operator bitwise or operator is represented by the single pipe symbol and it can be used to compare each bit of the two operands as well but it returns one if at least one bit is set to one otherwise it returns zero if at least one bit is one we will get one as the result of bitwise or i hope this is clear to you to make it more clear let's see the truth table of bitwise or operator here is the truth table from this truth table we can conclude that when at least one bit is set to one we will get one as the result of bitwise or otherwise we will get zero now where do we use the bitwise or operator we use it to set specific bits to one of a specific number now let's take an example let's say we have the same binary number 1001 and we want to set this bit to 1 for this purpose we need to set the corresponding bit to 1 in the second operand as well so we will get the second operand as 0010 which is same as 2 in decimal now we can perform bitwise or of these binary numbers we will get 1011 as the result which is same as value 11 in decimal so clearly bitwise or of 9 and 2 is 11 now why is this happening why are we getting this result we can observe this from this truth table as well when in the second operand we set a specific bit to 1 we would be able to set the corresponding bit in the first operand to 1 this is what we can observe now what happens when we set a specific bit to 0 in the second operand we would be able to extract the bit from the first operand this means we will extract the corresponding bit this is what we can observe here as well we have set this bit to 1 because we want to set this bit to 1 and we want to obtain the remaining bits as it is that's why we have set zeros here so this is the reason why we are getting this output 1011 which is same as 11 now we can implement this through a c++ program here we have the values of a and b as 9 and 2 and i'm performing bitwise or operation on these two values we know we will get 11 as the result i hope this is clear to you so with this we have understood the bitwise or operator as well this means we are done with the second topic also and this means we are done with this lecture okay friends this is it for now thank you for watching this lecture i will see you in the next lecture where we will discuss some more bitwise operators